hello and welcome student today we will be learning a lesson from how we came to be environmental studies part 2 chapter number 7 from shelters to village settlements module 2 in module 1 we learn about the shelters of the human being from stone age to middle stone age so let's continue how much development human made in neolithic age means in new stone age but before proceeding to our module 2 let's see a brief recap of our module 1 so let's see Let's look a brief summary of module 1 from shelter to village settlement So student in module 1 we learn about the ice age which was extremely cold and harsh because of cold climate we also learn how human being and animal survive in this period we also come to about the elephant ancestor which was given name as mammoth which was very useful to homo sapiens human turn toward fishing and cultivating the food food grains in the field in this period they they also learn about the food grain and after that they start settling at one place with their group and also prepare their shelter according to their flexibility we also learn various shelter from stone age to middle stone age period so let's proceed to our module 2 and learn more about their shelter learning objectives from module 2 so student in this module we are going to learn all these point such as changes in place places according to the season human discovered best hunting ground the way of life of humans in the new stone age people establish permanent village settlements stone age to iron age houses let's have a brief look of a shelter from stone age to iron age so in this module we will discuss how the human like to live in a house from bronze age to iron age why they made changes from period to period in the shelters the changes in diet pattern of homo sapiens as they learn about the cul- cultivating food grains they change in their diet and because of this they had change in their appearance too homo sapiens moved the camp according to the flexibility student we knew we wear clothes according to season 
so in same manner middle stone age human built houses according to season so you can see in the image all the changes harvest seasonal wild grains due to changes in season human learn to harvest the wild grain and also learn to work in the field grow most of the wild grains and gather seasonal fruits and roots which they get in different season and store them in the store house as they were started to live near the sea shore so they hunt fish and with their knowledge and advantages try to solve it according to seasonal changes started to stay at one place for longer time so student here from this image we learn that homo sapiens hunt fish and grow wild grains on the field and because of that they started stay at one place for longer time with the help of their knowledge they discovered best hunting ground and live for longer period as we learn they started to live in group from our previous chapter so for place they cleared jungles by felling trees and set up the seasonal camps as they clear the land you can see how they are clearing the land for their camp now let's move to word and learn about prehistoric time there is a large period of time from which we have no written records we call this prehistory starting from evidence of the first early humans it it is split into three section that is the stone age the bronze age the iron age there is no recorded history of this time that we can read just clue left behind which archaeologists have to try to and interpret bronze age houses the weather in britain had become warmer and drier at the end of the stone age the bronze age from 2100 bc saw another change in climate the wetter weather forced people to move from the hills which were easier to define it into the valley where it was easier to grow food and find shelter the spread of farming meant the end of larger burial sites as the fields were needed for animals to graze larger area of woodland started to be cut down to make more land available for farming bronze age houses means in this image we will learn what material they were using for making their houses so brown in bronze age houses were round circular structure with a wattle woven wood and daub mud and straw wall 
or a dry stone walls some houses had to be built on slit as they were constructed on wet lands round houses usually had thatch roof or were covered with tuff that lay over a wooden cone of beams they would have a fireplace in the center of the house that would always keep kept burning the fire was important for cooking and keeping warm browns age houses in the browns age people no longer use one dwellings for everything a farming household might have consisted of two houses a main house would be used to live in and an out house used for cooking and textile production iron age houses archaeologists have discovered that typical iron age round houses were similar to bronze house age houses some were very large and housed many people you can see the image they have chimney which help the smoke dispersed through the thatch roof the frame was constructed out of large timbers and the walls were made from wattle and daub in the central of the house there would have been a fire used for cooking and has a source of heat and light some round houses may have contained oven for baking breads iron age houses a big change in the iron age era was the development of hill forts these were large settlements built on la on land higher than the surrounding area they often had a ditch around the outside for defense a hill fort would be densely populated with a large number of round houses and roofs student do you know the first hill forts were constructed from around 800 bc one of the biggest hill forts in europe was discovered in maiden castle do set the life of human was completely different from stone age to middle stone age so let's move to our neolithic age so in neolithic age life of human was completely different from old age to middle stone age during this age the diet were totally different as they learned about fire so they started eating roasted and cooked food and lived in flexibility shelter which they need according to their seasonal changes they hunt big animals so they started making for making clothes neolithic farmer select selected for crops that harvest easily domesticated animal meet the hard physical labor of farming possible while the milk and meat aided variety to the human diet 
The first term animals also includes sheep and cattle. All these made changes in the diet, house and clothes. In New Stone Age, human became producer of food grains. You know student, in this age means Neolithic age, human becomes a producer of food grains. As farmer in Neolithic time produce a surplus of food and they could share with other people in the community. This surplus of food means that not everyone had to farm. In this age, human began to specialize in skills other than farming. In this age, human begins cultivating plants, breeding animals for food and forming permanent settlements. We also learn Neolithic age was a beginner of cultivating and character characteristic of culture. The Neolithic comp compromise a progress of behavioral and cultural changes including the use of wild and domestic crops. The evidence suggests that figs were the first cultivated crops in New Stone Age period. For hunting and gathering ways of life was necessary for New Stone Age to keep on moving all the time. During New Stone Age, human keep on moving all the time for hunting and gathering way of life. As they keep on moving, they learn the use of fire, develop intricate knowledge of plant life and refine technology for hunting and domestic purpose. As they spread from Africa to Asia, Europe and beyond, hunter gathering culture developed among New Stone Age humans. The first humans to adopt to colder climates and routinely hunt large animals were Neanderthals and Homo sapiens who developed more sophisticated technology means because of agriculture it make them possible to store food for longer period as human being to mold nature to the needs and agriculture immerse in multiple places around the plant. As it is said that the birth of agriculture is referred to Neolithic age. This age is a stem from the fact that stone artifacts were more smooth and refined than those of the Paleolithic age. Many polished tools were facilitated early agriculture. The first agriculture was likely cultivation of wild species of plant and basic herding of leaf stock. In this age, nature of agriculture work made them necessary to stay in one place. During Neolithic age, nature also play a vital role. Archaeological suggests that the adoption of agriculture is the result of small and gradual change. Agriculture was developed independently in several regions. Major changes were introduced by agriculture, affecting the way human society was organized and how it used the earth, including forest clearance, root crops and cereal cultivation that can be stored for longer period of time. Therefore, people established 
permanent vegetable villages permanent village settlement which brought new form of social organization cultivation of cereal grains enable human to build permanent dwellings dwellings and congregal in village a way of life based on farming and settled villages had been firmly achieved in neolithic age so student in next lesson we shall review the social organization and the culture of this village settlement recap of our module 2 so in this module we learn about shelter from stone age to iron age harvest food and make house according to season cleared jungle for cultivating crops and shelter life of hum human were completely different from stone age to middle stone age agriculture made human to stay at one place for longer period people established permanent village settlement and lived in group generation to generation evaluation of module 2 fill in the blanks by observation homo sapiens they discovered the dash ground answer hunting in the new stone age human became dash of food grains answer producer people establish their village settlements and live in them generation after generation answer permanent complete the following homo sapien discovered and learned dash about the best seasons for fishing and the best hunting ground to stay in one place for a longer period of time second people in the seasonal camps did search as dash fishing hunting gathering food fruits and roots also domesticating animals and making tools third human protected themselves from cold dash by wearing leather clothes and making use of fire answer the following what enable the new stone age men to establish permanent village settlement answer is the nature of agriculture work made it possible for the new stone age men to establish permanent village settlements second in which way of life is it necessary to keep moving answer in the hunting and gathering way of life it is necessary to keep moving all the time third other than hunting how did the homo sapiens move the camps to different places answer other than hunting the homo sapiens harvested seasonal wild grains and gathered seasonal fruits and roots give reason first homo sapiens clear the jungle answer is for fishing and hunting in one particular region homo sapiens needed to stay in one place so they started clearing the jungles by felling the trees and set up the seasonal camp on the clear land second the people of the new stone age established permanent village settlement answer is 
in hunting and gathering way of life it is necessary to keep moving all the time agriculture made it possible to store to store food and use it over a longer period nature of agriculture work was such that they had to stay in one place therefore people stop establish permanent village settlement and live in them generation after generation there was no need to keep moving constantly in the new stone age answer is the way of human life in new stone age was completely different as compared to the life in the old stone age and middle stone age human became producer of food and started cultivating the land agriculture made it possible to store food and use it over a longer period therefore there was no need for human in the new stone age to move from one place to another thank you student